What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, you're going to learn how to use the Bunch Cluster to beat a variety of different defenses that you're going to face in Madden 20. Alright guys, so let's hop into it. I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. We're going to be talking about Bunch Cluster, or the cluster, um, the gun cluster. I call it Bunch Cluster because it kind of works like a bunch. And defensively, I'm just going to come out. I'm in the Baltimore Ravens uh, playbook. I think Baltimore has got the best... Um, defense because of the nickel three through five and the nickel three through five wide but uh anyways guys i'm gonna come out here and we're just gonna come out in and you have all the different uh defensive coverages so gun cluster i'm using the chiefs um i would recommend a dashing dead eye quarterback if you can find one but basically your best receiver goes on the right sammy watkins here mccall hardman here and then travis kelsey now, uh, the gun cluster, the plays that I like are the mesh, the mesh post, the verticals play, and then I also like the Z spot and, sh and Z spot, and then we're going to come out in the Z spot shake, okay? And uh, hopefully this is going to give you enough, enough tools to be able to run the bunch cluster uh, offense in your, in your uh, offense. Okay, so first things first with this. Um, it, when we come out, what I want to talk to you first and foremost about the defense that is the hardest to beat is the nickel three through five. Um, for me, when I run the bunch cluster, it's press man to man. Press man to man for me is the hardest because if they're a good man coverage corner, that motion out corner route, you see he can kind of, if they're a good man coverage corner, you see he kind of stays right there as you see right there. Normally, that would beat man-to-man, -man, but a good user and a good man-to-man -man defense kind of slows the bunch cluster down. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to actually beat man-to-man. -man. The play that I like to use, especially in a two-man under type of deal, is the play Z-Spot. Z-Spot, to me, um, will help you beat the defense, beat the man-to-man -man coverage. So the first thing that you can do, one thing you can do is you can motion McCall Hardman out, and if when he cuts to the right, you'll see most of the time if they're a, if they're a if they're not a good man to man coverage corner, he's gonna get open. The Z spot and shake, if you look at his corner route, and then when I audible to Z spot, if you look at his corner, you see they're the same. What I would recommend doing is smart routing it as well, but that's a good corner route, and there I throw it against uh or I threw it way too early, but you'll see if you if you smart route the corner route. And guys, corner routes this year, if you're not throwing corner routes, like that is the, the number one route in the game, in my opinion. But if you just motion him out, you'll see. And you see how he doesn't quite beat it when you smart route it. So you got to have a couple of different options and ways to beat man-to-man -man coverage this year. Um, especially if they're if you're playing a good man coverage team like the New England Patriots. So what I like to do from this, this, def this play, I still like to motion Hardman out. But I'm going to take Travis Kelsey and I'm going to put him on a drag route. I'm going to leave Tyreek Hill on his route, but I could also put him on a streak. Or if I wanted to, I could put him on a streak or I could put him on a hitch route. It doesn't really matter what I do with him. And then what I'm going to do with Williams is I'm going to block him and I'm going to slide my line to the right and I'm going to ID any blitzer that can come off that right edge. Because my running back, I'm, I'm banking he's going to be able to pick up anyone on that other side. So you see here that that drag route to Travis Kelsey will almost always beat man to man coverage. Now you can also because of, because of the way the game uh, plays, I, I want to show you one other defense with this. But because of the way the game plays in man to man, and why I think man to man is probably one of the best coverages to run defensively this year, at least to start out, um, is because of the way the defense just plays it. So I'm going to go to quarter quarter man to man coverage. And I'm going to sub in, like if I was the Patriots, what I would do is I would take McCourty and I would sub him in at the middle linebacker. So I get a better man coverage guy there. And then uh, Patrick Chung, I'm going to make that a corner as well. And then I'm going to put Patrick Chung here. And now what I've got is I've got really, really good coverage. That's why the Patriots, to me, are the best man coverage in the game. So if I run the play, uh, you can run two men under spy. I'm going to run if they have the two men under contain, but I can't find it. So I'm going to go two men under spy. That's what I'm going to do. And actually what I'm going to do because of the way the – because I want to make sure this works properly is I'm going to take McCourty, put him on that guy so he's in man-to-man -man coverage, and then I'm going to have Terrence Brooks over the middle of the field. So two men under spy. I'm going to man a line and I'm going to press coverage. And you'll see what happens 
with this defense, and this is to me the best, one of the better pass defenses in the game because it just smothers everything. But you see, watch Travis Kelsey. See how he kind of kind of doesn't get quite free and just kind of sloppy. And so what you can do, if you go to Z spot, what you can do with Travis Kelsey is you can also motion him as well. But motion snapping is one of the easiest ways to beat man-to-man coverage this year. And just want to show, and it pretty much is every year. But with the corner route to Hardman, you definitely want to motion snap that because that's going to be a really good route. And then if I just slant Travis Kelsey, you'll see he'll kind of he'll kind of uh, stop him. So what I like to do with the Z spot play, if I'm facing man to man coverage, right? If I'm facing man to man coverage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Tyree Kill off. I'm going to run him on a streak. I'm going to take Travis Kelsey, put him on a hitch. And then I'm going to take McCole Hardman and motion him out to the numbers. And once I get him outside, typically McCole Hardman's going to work. You just have to get him wide enough. This year it's kind of challenging. Um, one other thing that you can do actually is a little trick that I like to do. If you really, if you know they're in man-to-man coverage and you know they're in like a max coverage, like the two-man under spy, so they're not blitzing you, if you know that, then I would put Williams on a wheel route. And then what I would do with Hardman is when you motion him out, bring him back inside so the mechanics of the game are going to basically give him a little pick and rub and he's going to be able to beat man-to-man coverage. So that's kind of how you can work the man beaters out of this. And then everything else beats man-to-man as well. Let me just show you that real quickly. Um, The route to Sammy Watkins is very underrated this year. Um, A lot of people really kind of went away with it or went away from it. But you'll see, like I can throw that hitch route. um, I can throw that hitch route. What I can also do with Travis Kelsey, because he's kind of featured as a wide receiver, is I can put him on a zig route. And zig routes this year are really good as well um, for beating man-to-man coverage. So that's another option that you could do. Um, If you wanted to, you could take Travis Kelsey, put him on a a, a zig, take your running back, put him on an option route. I mean, there's a lot of different things you could do with this. But that's another way, because once he comes in and cuts out, he's going to be able to easily beat man-to-man. So those are just some other options for you and how to beat man. I want to show you a couple more things from this package or from this um from this specific play as it pertains to beating man-to-man coverage because i think man-to-man for me is the hardest to beat out of the bunch cluster that's just my the man blitz um is the hardest so uh here you see if i motion harpen back in and if you watch that Right on that last back end of that post route, he's going to be able to beat it. He is, uh, Sammy Watkins is going to be able to beat man-to-man coverage. So that is just a little quick tip on the gun cluster. And I want to show you one last thing with this. What I love about the cluster, though, the reason that I want you to kind of consider running the cluster is because if you have a good bunt, if you you run this, you're going to see this corner route. As I get lurked, um, I didn't have the... Didn't have the didn't have the right hot routes, but you're gonna see if they run zone and you run the motion snap corner route, it's gonna kind of work like it did, um, and you can mix and match your hot routes depending on if they're in man or zone. But if you motion hard, Hardman back in and you roll out, you're gonna see. And I was in man. Whoops, sorry. I'm kind of trying to trying to show you the zone beating aspects of this stuff. So they in zone, you can do this. but you just motion him out wide and you'll see he's going to get that outside leverage and he's going to possession catch on the sideline. That's against a cover three. What's really cool about it is a good cover two. If the, if the opponent's running cover two, because of where the players line up, the cluster just gives you a nice little opportunity to potentially beat cover two deep. But you see, you can kind of, you can kind of throw that that corner route over the top. You can also have all the other stuff, but the power route in the in the Z spot is still the the inverted post, and he's just able to beat everything. One last thing that I want to do and tell you before you go is with this play, another thing that you can do if you feel really confident in your ability to beat man to man, and you don't have to motion that corner out. What I want to encourage you to think about is to motion Sammy Watkins to the left. Because when you motion him to the left, it's going to give him the proper spacing. And now it looks very similar to Gun Bunch. Gun Bunch, Z-Spot. The difference is, number one, you have Travis Kelsey who's a receiver. And number two, 
this corner route is a sharper corner route. So it's going to do a better job against man-to-man. -man. And you'll see when he cuts to the inside, he's just got better positioning. And, um, and what you can do with this, if he's outside like that, it's better against zone defense. That's really the primary reason to do it. Because of the invert of the uh, invert of the route, you'll see he's just going to get that inside release, pass lead to the inside, and you can see there I did not get a good user catch. But if you click on, if you click on to your guy by hitting circle on PlayStation, then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to catch that very very easily, very very easily. So let me show you this one more time before I jump off here. So you get that inverted right there, and it just does a really good job. And that's cover two, and that's consistent. I mean, that is very, very consistent. Let me show you cover three real quick just to kind of prove the concept. And I actually think cover four is probably the easiest one to do it on. But cover three, cover two, Tampa two with that deep middle, that's what I like about this because you could throw this post at multiple times, and if you just right there, um, and that's very, very consistent. Every single zone in the game, this will be. Every single zone in the game. Especially uh, especially if you take Tyreek Hill and put him on a streak. And this is just a simple flood. But what's really cool about it is that because corner routes are so good this year, this play right here has a lot of a lot of opportunity uh, to be very effective for you. So anyways, guys, just wanted to encourage you. Hopefully this video helped you uh, learn a little bit more about the cluster. And do me a favor. Text me with your questions. My phone number is in the comments of this video. Would love to hear from you and would love to be able to chat with you that way. Um, but leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know what I can